Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, sorry you had to see the wall. I know it's kind of, you know, you're not that guy. Today I'm reviewing the fashion closet from Rainbow High and this thing is massive. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so hard to film and I'm not sure how hard it's going to be once I open it. But yeah, guys, um, this thing's really big. I'm probably going to display it open in general because like I can't do this cube size. But yes, here it is in all of its clear acrylic glory. So I guess this has a street date of August 4th along with Jet and the six pack, but my target, like they had the six pack and this closet like on like for store pickup for like two hours. So I bought both. We're not gonna mention the six pack cause you know, we already know what I'm doing with that. I'm super excited to have the closet because I, I'm hoping that this could hold a lot of things. I've only watched, I think one review of it and I'm not sure of how much it's gonna hold. I'll see if I could actually put all the clothes in right now. If I don't, because I'm still sick guys. So yeah. But yeah guys, let's get looking at what the box looks like cause there's not really much of a box. So yeah, let's get looking. Roll the intro. Okay, so before we start the review, the closet actually does retail for $59.99. Quite expensive. It's actually a little more money than a Jet is. So the first thing of packaging, I guess you can say, is this cute little tag that's black. It's like the rainbow up here, and it shows you a picture of the closet, but it's kind of hard to see it because there's that little shiny film over it. And it says 400 looks to create. And then the back is completely rainbow, and it says rainbow high, 31 pieces. And yeah, it's a really cool tag. It's connected with this golden kind of string and you could remove this. I'm probably going to remove it and then put it back on after the review because I actually do really like this. And oh my god this is heavy. Um, But the bottom of the box is literally just this little piece of cardboard and it says Rainbow High Deluxe Fashion Closet and it says 400 looks but like they cut it out wrong so it's kind of like you know, wonky. And then it just says it all around. And then if I flip it upside down, you can see all of the price tags and all the information you need to know. If you are interested in finding this closet, go ahead and screenshot this little barcode and it should help you. Okay guys, I'm going to get rid of all of this saran wrap and the box, and then we could actually start looking at the case, but that's basically what the boxing was. So let me unbox it and I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Okay guys, so we got all the main packaging. Oh wait, what the? Jade, what are you doing in there? Ugh, I'll get her out after. Anyway, let's look at the outer packaging and then we're gonna go inside and we'll see what's in there because there's still a lot of packaging inside that I gotta get rid of because MGA. So similar to like the special release dolls, there are these little gold bits on all the corners of this thing. They're not gonna come off though, just like the Twinses and Jets, cause they're not like really badly glued on. So that's really good. If you look at the top, there's a little gold handle and it does not move or anything. It's stationary. So it's so you could carry it around like a purse or carry it to wherever you need to go. In the middle, you can see there's some more of this fake gold hardware. There's little X's on it. And here is where you put the little lock. The lock is gold and it has a rainbow high wording on the top of the little I guess lock <laughs> and then it has a very kind of Gucci look to it so it has like this little design right here and it says RH right here and to open this lock all you got to do is press this little button and it just unlocks like so it's a really cool lock and if you really really wanted to you could kind of use it as like a purse for a doll so yeah once you take off the lock you can now open it oh <laughs> And you can see everything that is inside of this closet. I'm trying to stay out of the mirror because like, um... Okay guys, so I'm gonna be doing an aerial view because it's a little better. So you can kind of see everything that's going on. Again, this is just really big for like my filming area. So sorry about that. As you can see right here, there's a fake little pink bag, which is kind of disappointing, but I guess it's to fill in this. Space. And it was connected to this little shelf that just plugs right back into where it was. Over here, you can see these are like crystal shoes and they're also um, cardboard. Under crystal shoes, we have some fake Amaya shoes. And in this corner, we have a fake pair of puppy shoes and they were just kind of already floating in the box. So yeet. In the middle portion, you can see there's some real earrings for us. We're gonna look at those at the end. And then there's some fake stud ones that look like they belong to Sunny. And I don't know what these are. They might be glasses, but yeah, these are all fake. Right? Under that shelving unit, we can see there's a chair. It's still secured in with the plastic. So let me remove that and I'll be right back. The chair is really cool. 
it's a clear acrylic chair with some gold little legs. Now I did notice that mine was broken. Now it does come apart, but one of my pegs was stuck in. As you can see right here, it's this peg right here. It's kind of stuck in there. If I really wanted to, I can super glue it, but I'm kind of disappointed that it was broken. Yeah, it's a really nice chair and I'll show you guys once I set this up nicely, but yeah, here's the chair. So moving on to this side of the closet, we have a gold rack similar to what um, Avery's had. She had her little closet place up, which was really just a rack. <laughs> and then we have five pieces of clothing hanging right here, which we'll look into detail at the end. If we move downwards, we can see three pairs of shoes right here and these are real and then these three are fake. I do like how there is two options for shelving and of course the bottom unit. So I guess three shelvings for your shoes. Then if we move to this side, we have another golden hanger rod with five pieces of clothing on it as well and I'm super excited for this little hoodie and this pair of pants. Underneath that we can see that there's a little handbag and it's not really placed properly so we can see it but I will be removing it after so we can actually look into it in detail. Then under here we have a little box which has three real pairs of shoes in it as well. Okay guys so I'm going to take all the pieces out and we're going to look at them individually and then I'm going to set up the closet how I would like it to be set up and yeah so BRB. Okay guys so here is everything out of the box or out of the case I meant to say. Here's all the pieces you do get with the set. Just like Avery's closet little play set, it comes with a piece for all the main six dolls. Um, I guess you could mix and match this with the other dolls in the collection, but it is very much catered to the main six of Rainbow High. I do wish that they did add in some of the series two dolls because I feel like series one did get Avery's closet, so this would have been a perfect example to do so. Hopefully if they do make another Avery closet this year, it is focused on series two because I don't think we we need more series one outfits at the moment. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the shoes and then we're gonna move on to the outfits. So the first pair of shoes are for Ruby. They're these little strappy heels that have a black bottom and the paint is kind of a metallic red color. The insides say rainbow in a black font and the little part right here is gold and it looks like kind of a watch. But for Ruby, these shoes are kind of cute. Um, I'll have to see what they look like on her at the end of the video, but yeah, at the moment, really cute. Next we have Sunny shoes and they're these little chunky platform little heels that have more straps. They're a yellow pearly color and then the back says a rainbow and it is also in a pastel rainbow. They're very much giving me her winter break dolls vibe. Straps are clear and there are these little gold triangles holding up, up I guess. These are going to be really nice for the sunny dolls and all that. By the way, do not mind my hands. Um, they've been through a lot this week. <laughs> Moving on to poppy shoes which are orange. They have a gold bottom and they are also these kind of strappy little high heels again. I do wish that they would have given us some variety in the shoes because I feel like three pairs of these kind of similar shoes kind of isn't doing much but they're really cute and they're very much scream poppy and the inside is orange almost kind of yellow color they have these kind of pearly bronze little straps holding them up and in the middle of the toes there's a little monarch butterfly that's orange black and white and on this side it has some gold detailing showing a little buckle next there's another one of these big little acrylic cases we were introduced to these with Avery and every special edition doll except Kaya has come with these. Our next pair of shoes are purple little converse kind of high top. They have a little white little logo. This is rainbow high. It's supposed to look like the converse logo. They have gold aglet holes and white laces. They have the little white painted areas that those shoes do have. And on this pair it has the red, orange, and yellow. And on this pair it has green, blue, and purple. And in the back it says rainbow again kind of mocking the van slash converse look. And on the bottom we can see the waffle cone printing and it says rainbow high and that's actually painted in. It is a little messy, not gonna lie, on the bottoms. They're really cute and the inside seem to be white, which is really cool. The shoes they gave for Jade are really cool. They're kind of mocking those Balenciaga sock shoes and they're a black color. The bottom is white with some green peekaboo moments and it says rainbow in a graffiti kind of look. And the bottom is all green. These are gonna be so cool to put on her. Of course, I saved the best for last, Miss Skylar. I'm not really impressed with the shoes they gave her, but they're really cute. They're these little light blue pumps and they have the word rainbow all over in black. The toes say RR in a silver metallic paint and we have some black bottom. Now if I'm correct these are the same shoes they gave Kaya but minus the little R's um, the ones that always fall off so you might want to secure these probably with like rubber bands or maybe put socks on but yeah. So now that we've looked at all the shoes I'm going to show you the little one-off accessories. One of the first rainbow high bags this is a black fake leather bag that has a rainbow ombre kind of trimming all around the bag. It looks so so 
cool. The handle is a golden thread almost and it is supposed to mimic chain. It has these little embroidered spots that are gold to look like it's being fed through that. There is a little RH embroidery right there at the lid of the bag and the bag does open with a little bit of velcro and just like Laurel and Holly you can actually put some things in this little bag. One thing I do not like though would be the fake gold chain. I feel like it would have been just easier to do a fake chain because as you can see it's kind of already unraveling and if I pull on it it is probably just going to look bad and it'll just become a clutch. Next we got the one pair of earrings that the set came with. They're these really cool dangly gold earrings that say RH and they're supposed to almost look like they are studded with some white pearls. Okay guys it is time to look at the outfits now. This set came with 10 clothing pieces for 10 dolls. Um, you could mix and match I guess 400 possible combinations. I think that's just something they put on all these kind of mix and match dolls boxes. So each clothing piece does have an according hanger that matches the color. So red for Ruby and her outfit is this cute little cream x rainbow high kind of collaboration moment and it looks like it's a overall dress. It has the word sparkle along with some designs like hearts, sparkles, and a shooting star. At the top we can see it has those little fake buckles that I liked on the winter dolls and behind that you can see there are some straps. Now the straps look really really busted. As you can see they're like almost coming apart. Um, I'm not sure if that's just mine or if it's just the material they use. It feels like it's a cotton material but that's really disappointing especially knowing how much this set costs. I will see if I can fix these. If I can't I will probably give a contact MG about it. We'll see. The outfit does have these two little fake pockets right here along with one in the middle of the chest and it's just a really cute piece minus those two defects I found. As for Poppy's little outfit she has this kind of orange sock dress going on and it's supposed to look like a monarch butterfly. It fastens here at the neck with a little black collar with some orange striping. In the middle you can see there's the monarch butterfly wings and they're really pretty. This is a really really soft dress and I actually really do like it. It's so weirdly put on the hanger though so I don't think it will actually fit on this hanger if I take out the plastic that's inside of it. The bottom has some black trim as well. It's very stretchy and it's just really soft. It feels like a sock and I really do like this. I don't know why. For Sunny she gets a little yellow jacket that is the exact same pattern as her second outfit's jacket. It has that kind of printing that she had on her winter break doll I believe all over it. It says sparkle and rainbow and there's like these little colors in certain letters. It's really cute. The jacket has a lot of yellow stitching and two fake pockets on the top. It is quite thin so I would be careful with this piece of clothing. Not my favorite piece from this set. For Jade she gets this cool little hoodie that's green and white and it says rainbow in the middle but this side says it in white and this says it in black. It has these two little black pull strings and it feels super nice and super soft. I actually did want a hoodie like this in real life. So my girl Sky she got pants yet again. She has a light denim fabric that has checker print all over it and this belt is a separate piece but it is the rainbow logo and it's supposed to look like caution tape and it has a little belt buckle right there and as you can see it does velcro in the back and she does have two little pockets right there so she can put maybe a phone or something. Yeah they're cute jeans. Um, I think they're better than the ones that she came with last time with Avery's little closet. So yeah. For Violet she's getting a little tweed jacket and I actually really do love this jacket. I feel like this would have been a better option for Violet as a second outfit for her winter doll but it's this purple white and black tweed jacket and it has some fringe details on the bottom and at the cuffs and it is really really pretty. Um, But just like Bella's it does come apart string by string kind of so just be careful with this piece and you should be all good. The inside of the jacket is lined with purple fabric and I really do appreciate them lining this jacket because I feel like it would need it as some kind of structure support so cool. So next we got a piece for Bella and I'm kind of disappointed in her piece because it is quite similar to her other two skirts that she does have. It is a pink skirt with this rainbow high detail all over it. We've seen this print before done on other outfits. It has two pockets on the other sides and two little belt loops and it velcros in the back. It is really basic and I kind of wish they would have given her like a dress or something but yeah this is Bella's piece. For Amaya she gets actually like two pieces it seems so she's getting these little jeans that are black and they have rainbow stitching and in the middle there's these little ribbons that are also rainbow and they're tied at the knee. They're really pretty. She has little fake belt loops and she also has little pockets along with a little silver stud right there and in the back she has more of these little pockets right here. They probably could fit things but again we don't really got cell phones for these dolls yet so and for the next item it is a black cotton shirt that says rainbow in gold in the middle along with that same print that's kind of on the lock as well kind of giving me Gucci vibe. It isn't hemmed at the bottom and I think that's the look they were going for and the last 
last piece in the set is this white rainbow high shirt that says no social media thank you and it says no cameras allowed so i feel like this is for bella so she knows not to take pictures of her work anymore so she won't get expelled again okay guys now that we've looked at everything that this closet comes with i'm gonna set it up the way i want it to and then we're gonna put some of these outfits on some of the dolls and let's see what they look like so be right back Okay guys, so I've set up the closet with all the pieces it came with. I added some little props that I've used for other pictures and stuff. I also added Jet's dress right there. I feel like it looks really cute and open like this. And now guys, we are going to get our girls all dressed up. So I'm going to start with Jade since she's already here in the closet and she's refusing to come out at the moment. So let's get her in her little hoodie and her shoes. Okay guys, so here she is in her little hoodie. It's actually quite cute and I did put it over her original shirt so it shows you can layer this little hoodie and it looks cute still and then here she is in her little balenciaga shoes i really like them i just don't think they go good with this little pants combo they actually might look really cute with her second outfit from winter break so i might actually use those ones instead so let's move on to the next doll and here is violet from the eye swap video by the way this is how her bangs turned out if you were wondering at the end of that video they're kind of meh here she is in her little jacket and it looks so good with her second outfit from her first doll so i think i'm actually going to be keeping her on this but then we look at her shoes and and they really just don't match the vibe going on but these are really cute for Sunny so I'll use them for her and here's Sunny um first things first don't mind this Sunny um she's a uh, Sunny I found thrifted and I still need to clean her up and all that by the way if you have any cute hairstyles let me know them down below but here she is in her first dress with the new jacket that she just got and then she's got these little cute shoes I really do like these shoes I think they did really good for Sunny on the shoe department it's just the jacket was kind of a disappointment yeah that's Sunny for us Next, I put Sheer Poppy into the little sock dress, and it is kind of an interesting fit, not gonna lie. Um, I don't like how it really fits in the back. I kind of see like there's a very big opening right here. But other than that, it kind of looks cute. I feel like it might need like a little jacket or something. And then here she is in her little shoes. Um, now looking at them on her, I'm not really a big fan of them. I think they're just very basic. But you know, Poppy loves her butterflies. I mean, look at her, look at her. So yeah, that's Poppy. Next up, we got Skye in her little jeans and her belt. Um, just like her winter break doll the jeans don't fit at all really well um they're barely on and i can't fasten the belt as well poor skylar that's two pairs of jeans she can't fit into and then i put on her little blue shoes that are very very loose so you are going to need some rubber bands to keep those on i recommend keeping some of the rubber bands that come with this playset. so if you want to keep these shoes on they don't get lost too easily for ruby i'm using her cheer doll and i put on her little overalls um the straps are just really really bad and they're really really fragile so i'm probably going to be messaging MJ about that because that's not acceptable for a $60 product. And I kept on Cheer Ruby's little socks to show you what the shoes look like. So I have four pieces left. This Poppy's going to model them for us. So she's wearing that cute little black crop top shirt. I actually like how it fits on her. And then here's the skirt. It is super cute. And I actually kind of like how this outfit looks together. And here's Poppy in the last set of clothing. I really do like the bag with these jeans. I'm not really a big fan of this shirt though on them. It would be cute for Jade, I think, but I really do like the pants and the bag. The pants are giving me the same kind of problem that Skylar's pants are giving me. So I think it's just the jean design is just too tight. I'm gonna put all the outfits back on their racks and we are going to have a final chat. And yeah, so BRB. Okay guys, so we're at the end of the review and it's time for my final thought. So as cool as the idea of having like a little closet to put all of your clothing that you get from your dolls, just in case you don't really want to buy two dolls to, you know, wear both outfits that they come with it's a good idea i do think that they could have done this in a different kind of format either just make it a case with a doll and like two outfits and then you just put in the outfits you already have but i feel like for 60 dollars, i feel like i should be getting like some kind of doll or something else that just makes it scream worth it one thing we do have to realize it's clear plastic there's like literally no paint other than the gold details on the edges and on the handle the mirror is really nice of a detail but i don't think that this closet's worth 60 dollars um i do recommend getting it but like i feel like you should wait for a sale like a cool concept uh, it's just not worth 60 dollars in my opinion and i feel like you guys should just wait for a sale but yeah guys let me know in the comments down below which one of the clothing pieces was your favorite and do you plan on getting this little closet or if you already do have it what do you feel about the price point and how have you been using it so far i really want to know what you guys are doing but thank you guys so much again for watching my video if you're brand new to my channel hi my name is 
Jay, and I do doll stuff, duh. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a big like and share it with a Rainbow High fan if they're curious about this exact playset. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!